M-U-R-D-E-R of Councillor Ainsley Parkins shocked the entire PNP. The People's National Party expresses its sadness and astonishment at the tragic news of Ainsley Parkins' murder and East Central St. Catherine Councillor representing the South Borough Division. Don't tell me that this thing start with politicians again. On Thursday morning, Parkins was fatally SHOT in the town of Portmore. His family, co-workers at the Portmore Municipal Authority and the residents of Southborough, who are obviously reeling from the sorrow of this enormous loss, are all recipients of our sincere condolences, the PNP stated in a release. The opposition party declared that it was keeping a close eye on the issue and was eagerly expecting more information from the Pope regarding the circumstances of his passing. We have learned that he was on duty as a council member at the time of SHOTING, performing inspections of a project he was working tirelessly for the betterment of the community he loved and served, according to the PNP. The group also expressed its deepest condemnation of the violent crime. We demand that law enforcement officers conduct an immediate, exhaustive, and impartial investigation, searching no further than necessary to bring those responsible to justice. It is crucial that those responsible for this horrific act are found as soon as possible and brought to justice, according to the PNP. The party claimed that Parkins was a superb public servant who gave all to the welfare and advancement of his constituency. He fought relentlessly to address the urgent challenges faced by his constituents during his term and his amazing accomplishment have left an indelible impression on the people he served their lives. As a party, we are incredibly grateful for Councillor Parkins' contributions and stellar work on behalf of the populace. We stand in solidarity with Councillor Parkins' family, friends, and constituents during this terrible time, extending our unflinching support. We urge the residents of Saltborough to maintain their resolve and unity in the face of this tragedy as we work together to protect Councillor Ainsley Parkins' legacy, the PNP continued. The party has made a public request for any information that would help the law enforcement community in their search of the truth. Gentle people, what next? I do hope that the JLP will also put out a statement condemning what happened here put aside their differences and stand in solidarity solidarity with the PNP because these people are looking to destroy and terrorize the political parties and politicians. And you know what can happen? We do not want to go back to the late 70s or the early 80s when one party is fighting against the next party. The JLP is supposed to stand up strongly, firmly, and condemn what happened here in Portmore yesterday. Too much of this SHIT is going on. You would think that the opposition party would be the first people to come out and condemn it 
and they are silent? Would this have anything to do with Heinz, M-U-R-D-E-R? In 2022, Lennox Hines, Jamaica Labour Party councillor, caretaker for the South Bar Division in St. Catherine. Hines was M-U-R-D-E-R-E-D -E -E while driving a white Honda CRV in the company of a female colleague and his daughter when men traveling on a motorcycle opened fire while he waited at the stoplight under the bridge at the entrance of the Portmore Toll Road. The woman was also M-U-R-D-E-R-E-D -E -E and the, according to, to the Pow Pow, the target was Heinz. So could this have something to do with it? Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. <laughs>